Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com. I totally missed last month's update, so I've got a lot to catch up with you. So let's start with the recap. The main Boy in a Band related things that happened are releasing the Baseline 7 day song, releasing the sponsored Darkstep 7 day song, YouTube confusing its viewers regarding ratings and video responses, increasing the quality of the Boy in a Band videos, finishing the business plan, a bunch of one to one Skype tutoring sessions, me getting recognized for the first time in real life from boyinaband.com, you and what army touring all over the UK, the second Axe FX tutorial, and some awesome stats. The Baseline 7 day song. It was the highest voted genre on the poll, so I went ahead and made it. You can take a listen to the final finished 7 day baseline song here. Big thanks to my lady friend Rachel for providing the cheesy vocals on this one. I think I really excelled on the lyrics on it. Boy in a band, baby! The sponsored Dark Steps 7 day song. I was paid to create a Dark Steps 7 day song, which sounds more evil than I look with a knife and a deranged smile. And it's proven to be the most popular 7 day song to date, with over 4,000 4, views on the first day in just over a week. I'm really pleased with the result too. And as some people have asked, no, I didn't pitch shift my voice. I can just hit a surprisingly low range of notes. So, if you want me to make a specific genre of music in a 7 day song, head over to the services page on boynaband.com and check the custom video tutorials page for more info on sponsoring a 7 day song. Cheers YouTube! Thanks to YouTube adopting the like system, which I totally like, now it's impossible to see an average rating of a video from 1 to 5 when you're searching for it. This also means I look like a ponce at the end of 90% of my videos when I confidently ask people to rate 5. I suppose it's not that uncommon for me to look like a ponce though. Plus it just gave me the excuse to say the word ponce twice, three times. Also, if you're wondering how to post video responses now, you have to click on the comment box below and it comes up with attach a video. That's if YouTube doesn't change the system between the time I say this and the time I post it online, of course. Quality upgrade. I finally figured out how to get better quality video for my tutorials. If you're interested, it was a combination of the aspect ratio being wrong and not knowing that DV settings don't use square pixels, which screen capture software does. Check out the Dark Step 7 day song for example of that. BIAB business plan. My home slice Adam from dudeinadrama.com and myself have finished working on the Boy in a Band business plan. And we've sent it off to some business mentory people for the last bit of advice on changes to make to it before we apply for funding. If you want to help me out and are either well versed with business, knowledgeable about funding bodies, or horrendously rich, then contact me on the boyinaband.com contact form on boyinaband.com slash contact. One to one Skype tutoring. I've taught people from Dubai to LA now, all within the space of a few hours. It's freaking cool. So if you want to learn some more about music production or just get some detailed critiquing on your songs then head over to the one to one Skype tutoring page in the services section of boyinaband.com. I'm famous! The past few weeks have been particularly surreal for me. It started when my band You and What Army were playing in Mexbra and the DJ said to me, Hey, I use your trance tutorials. You're the reason I know how to use reason. How cool is that? It was just a year ago, Boy in a Band only had 100 visits a day and I only had about 4 tutorials to my name. Now random people are making cheesy jokes to me. I feel like I've accomplished something. That's not the only recognition I got either. My guitarist got a call from his brother, who had apparently suggested boyinaband.com to his music tech inclined friends, only to find out that everyone on the course is using the website. I proceeded to be recognised from boyinaband.com on more dates of the tour, including at Barrow and Finesse and Powys in Wales. Yeah, we're an international touring band now, so my ego is pretty much in the clouds at this moment in time. But yeah, it's great to talk to you guys about how you found the site and what you find useful in real life. So if you see me and I look like I'm seeking attention, which is generally all the time, then don't be afraid to say hi! You and what army update? As I already mentioned, Yao has been touring all over the place lately. Since releasing our EP at the end of March, we've played North, East, West, and uh, middle, we're working on south. I think it'll be cool to play you a little clip from a song each video. And if you're interested, you can check us out on myspace.com slash you and what army UK or facebook.com slash you and what army. Linkage below. This clip is from the song Ascension. <laughs> Nice and trancy, right? 
I'm particularly proud of the vocal stutters, where I just cut up a harmony part, leaving the original vocal playing, giving that seriously weird yet melodic effect. Axe Effects Tutorial 2 It's been a while in the making thanks to my new camera getting stolen, but I finally got round to making a second Axe Effects Tutorial. This one is on the chorus block, seriously useful for getting thicker guitar tones. Stats time! Saving the best to last, I am actually scarily obsessed with statistics. Gaining 1,086 subscribers on YouTube, gaining over a million views in total, and breaking the 1,800, 1,900, 2,000, 2,100, and 2,200 visitors per day mark on boyinaband.com in one week are the big milestones to happen. But as ever, things are always growing here at Boy and Band. I feel like a corporate person. I need a pipe. Okay! So that's the major recap. Time to reveal what's coming up in May. We've got the seven day song, Axe FX tutorials, and some Yuma Army gigs up in Scotland. Seven day song. Unless we get another sponsored seven day tutorial, this month's seven day song will be on drum and bass again. Liquid drum and bass to be specific. A chilled out ambient take on the genre that involves some gorgeous pads and some gorgeous uh, percussion. For all y'all that aren't into their drum and bass so much, I'm sure next month we'll veer away from that speedy genre, unless someone else sponsors another D&B subgenre, in which case you'll probably have been converted into a hardcore junglist by that time anyway. So no worries! XFX tutorials. So we've got number two. <laughs> number two. Type for numbers three, four, five, and six to accompany it. These tutorials will go over some of the more frequently used and interesting effects in the XFX's arsenal. <laughs> Our Yawa gigs up in Scotland. If you're up in the Highlands on the 13th and 14th of May, then come check us out in Glasgow and Edinburgh, respectively. It'll be much as fun. Go to myspace.com slash UK to see the dates in more details. Featured artists. This month's featured artist from the boyinaband.com forum is Everyone Loves Robots, you rock, who has some seriously cool tracks on offer, from glitchy dubstep to energetic electro house. I particularly like the drop in his Electro House song, but you've got to listen to Hoorah, which pretty much sounds like Wall E went psycho. You'll find a link to his SoundCloud page in the description below. If you want to be the featured artist next month and promote your music to over 4,000 4, boyinaband.com subscribers, then head over to the boyinaband.com forum at the oh so surprising URL boyinaband.com slash forum and post your music in the share your music section. As always, make sure you share your opinions on other people's music as well, otherwise you won't be eligible. I want to encourage friendly, constructive criticisms. And that's it from me in April 2010. Hope you enjoy the videos coming up in the next month, and I'll see you all again for another monthly update at the end of May. Cheers for watching, and have a nice day.